So today you're going to see a footage which is super, super old. It was filmed years ago and it was a uh, turning to time when it was a lockdown all over the world. And yeah, so this is something uh, actually like quite a fun topic in the sense that this video, I think it's a perfect example for the thing that if you have limited resources, for example, you're a content creator, you're a food blogger, and yeah, you just want to make something out of nothing, then this is a good example here that you use use up the resources you have. For example, maybe you have a grandma house, maybe you have an attic or whatever there is, but you can go there, you can find the resources, you can make some new backdrops. Here, obviously, I made my own photography studio. So now I'm like living in a different place, but I still go to the forest like super, super often because it's like my creative place, my passion place. But yeah, what I'm saying more is that I need to breathe. It's super hot in Portugal. Anyways, but what I'm saying here is that, that you can definitely use up different resources you already have and even like make backdrops. You don't have to buy 400 pounds, 300 pounds backdrops. You can make your own and be creative because again, for food, you don't need that much space. You can just play around whatever you have and go with this one. Anyways, I hope you enjoy watching. It's almost ready. So today I have like something super exciting. A few days ago I felt like, okay, I'm gonna lay in bed for the whole weekend and watch movies or I'm gonna do something spontaneous. So what I came up with is that I wanted to build my own photography, like especially food photography, studio room. So previously I had my studio room in the city, but now since I'm not gonna mention what's happening in the world, I think like everyone knows it. And then, uh, so most of my time I'm spending here in the countryside with all the dogs and cats. Right? <laughs> yeah, the dogs are like super cute and everything. And yeah, so anyways, uh, what I was missing here was that I need my own like creative space where I can go creative and yeah, like go bananas with all my creative work. So we have like one room here completely empty and by the way I'm still wearing winter clothes because it's quite cold here but I put on the fire so ho hopefully it's gonna get warm but this room has been like staying empty here since I don't know forever and in the winter time we don't uh, warm it up as well but looking at this room then I was like okay this is the perfect room uh, for my studio as my studio room. So what I came up with is that I'm gonna try to create something out of this room. Like, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. Like a few days ago, I started this one. So hopefully it's gonna get better and better and better. And I'm like super lucky that I have like a lot of vintage stuff already. So I don't have to like buy a lot of things. And I'm gonna try to work on a budget here as well. And I have a lot of things from my previous uh, studio room as well so yeah so I put on the Instagram story and everyone wanted me to vlog it so we will see how it goes and let's hope for the best and hope it's gonna be like super awesome comfy and cozy room for all my creative work so anyways uh, keep I'm, I will keep you updated with my work because it's not gonna be one day vlog it's gonna be a few weeks vlog because I ordered some stuff as well so I'm still like waiting for things to come in so obviously I can't go shopping right now because everything is closed but yeah so this is like something super excited that I'm like super happy with and yeah so we will see how it goes there. start with the new DIY project then I always go to Pinterest and then I start bidding with different stuff here to create the studio space. It's just like the mood board and everything to get started and then for example I look at these ones like super great idea to save some space. <laughs> I 
like searching through all the ceilings here so i found a really old rustic door i don't know it's like my grand grand grandparents <laughs> but it's like super old and rustic and i want this one as my backdrop and as my main like wood or turf backdrop but the only problem is that it's in the ceiling so the door is back there and I have to get it down there. Okay, we finally managed to put this door. Like, can you imagine? Food photography on top of this rustic door. And here I put all the seats and stuff, the decorations. And yeah, I'm all super excited already. <laughs> are there and then the main table is here and different backdrops here as well and here I'm gonna put all the towels and napkins <laughs> ready i'm only missing a big monitor here to edit the photos and then i also ordered the c, c stand to get the better overhead shots i was thinking about the guild care versus c stand as well but then i decided to try the c stand and because like right now my current situation is that i have the manfrotto tripod that has arm as well but quite often I find myself that it's quite limited so I wanted to upgrade a little bit <music> wait to start photographing here in this studio room and I'm sure uh, it's gonna be magical because yeah like today morning I was like I couldn't wait to wake up in the morning and get here into the studio and get started with work and yeah so I'm like super excited and I can't wait so anyways I'm gonna end it here and if you like this content then give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because i will try to upload uh, more videos once i have the other missing parts in the studio as well and yeah so see you soon bye
So now it's day five and it's almost ready. I'm only missing a big monitor here to edit the photos. And then I also ordered the C stand to get the better overhead shots. I was thinking about the Guild Gear versus C stand as well, but then I decided to try the C stand. And because like right now, my current situation is that I have the Manfrotto tripod that has arm as well, but Quite often I find myself that is quite limited, so I wanted to upgrade a little bit. I can't wait to start photographing here in this studio room and I'm sure uh, it's gonna be magical because yeah like today morning I was like I couldn't wait to wake up in the morning and get here into the studio and get started with work and yeah so I'm like super excited and I can't wait so anyways I'm gonna end it here and if you like this content then give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because I will try to upload uh, more videos once I have the other missing parts in the studio as well and yeah so see you soon bye